what is good everybody so i just wanted to go ahead and say that after going back and reviewing my four year anniversary experience it was very 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 good you're gonna see why here in a second because i know that everyone is still you know might not be summoning on the four year anniversary first of all you shouldn't be summoning on the four year anniversary right now there, there's four year anniversary low-key done like we got like what tomorrow and the super dragon ball hero world mission cards and stuff like that comes out and that little banner i don't know i mean some people still want to hit that banner i'm still saying a hard skip fly on by that one or are you gonna take a trip shaft city later on so i mean i'm just saying right now this is from someone that has been shafted personal experience just save your stones for a 300 million dollar celebration that's all i gotta say because literally we had 800 something uh dragon stones for the four year anniversary and it was absolutely insane so i mean i will go through and recap everything for a second but you shouldn't be uh summoning or, or for anything like that even to you know spend more stones to get more tickets that's a dumbass move so don't do that but other than that for your anniversary treated me very 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 well and i just want to go ahead and say right now that i actually did get everything that i wanted from both the banners uh in in all seriousness the only thing the only negative that i can say that it will actually counteract uh later on is that i didn't pull an lr from the lrgt banner that's that's it like i didn't pull either one of these lrs and i went like what uh almost 500 dragon something because I, I got 87 uh gold coins so yeah i went almost 500 dragon stones in and didn't get anything so i mean that was pretty much my stupid dumbass move because i should have listened to myself earlier and been like don't hit this banner josh but you know i did so that's the uh, that's low-key the only shaft that actually happened so without further ado going back through the ears the goku banner the Goku banner, the first time I hit it, I got royally shafted. Uh, the only thing I got was Freezer Fridays. So that, that was literally the only thing I got the first. No, 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 I take that back. I did pull uh, LR Vegito uh, the first time. So that was him and Freezer Fridays was like the only thing that I got. And then I went back later on on a stream where I gave you guys the choice to, you know, I think it was like if I get like 150 likes or something like that, I was going to, you know, use, I was going to go another round on this banner. And you guys hit 150 likes on the stream and then we literally went another round on this one and i got two gokus and literally everything else on here so i got everything everything that i wanted so if you count that right off the bat that is three lrs right there that i actually pulled because you know pulling a dupe still counts as a pulling an lr dupe so it's three lrs here uh buff boy jeerings and, and everything was all through here mm. <gasps> Um, a lot of this stuff was all the way through here. So I got all these guys and that was that was great now The tickets for Goku was like whatever, but The main man's Vegeta the first run through that I did the actually the first and only run through that I did on Vegeta's banner I got Vegeta and I got the uh, Gogeta LR Gogeta as well and I pulled two dupes of 17 uh, pulled my first Turles as well and also put my first evolved Vegeta so i literally got everything except for transforming frieza which at the at the time really i didn't care about transforming frieza i mean i'm still not really that worried about him right now but i pulled everything that i literally wanted through here and it was absolutely fantastic so i'm not i'm not even going to hate on this the only thing was that i actually can rainbow this guy now so i haven't yet but i can rainbow him so i mean he's not bad i mean him rainbow is probably really solid and just going to go ahead and throw that out there but yeah this banner was absolutely insane for me so that is five lrs uh right there if i'm not mistaken uh that i that i pulled yeah yeah five lrs uh right there now going back to this which should be leaving uh if if not today or tomorrow or whatever uh i did pull two lrs off here so i pulled trunks and my and i also pulled lr beers and weiss so that is seven lrs that i pulled in the four year anniversary and i got the oob team for free so i mean seven lr summon one lr free eight lrs to add to the collection and everything so i mean i got incredibly luck lucky through this one and it was like literally the heavens broke apart and shined down on my summons for the four-year anniversary because it was the complete opposite from jp dokkan battle where i literally didn't get anything for jp dokkan battle i did not get anything at all i didn't get the super saiyan fours i don't think i pulled an lr on the ticket banner stupid 
like i mean it was it was bad like it was the complete opposite polar opposites so in all seriousness we go through and looking at the collection now of lrs it's it's getting more respectable there's still a lot of lrs that i am low-key missing through here but having that goku there now uh having that teen oop there is great i mean i just got the teen oop not not like a couple days ago because i low-key forgot about it but He's there now, you know, I mean, I got 30 LR, so I'm free to play and all this stuff, but that, don't worry about that, you know. I don't LR hunt that much, so the LRs that I do have that are summonable is fantastic to me. But yeah, I did get a good little bit of stuff here, and I'm still waiting on Trunks' uh, campaign as well, too. That would help out a lot if it was in the $300 million celebration. That would help out a lot. But going through recapping it for me, fantastic uh, experience yeah i used all the dragon stones yeah one banner did me dirty but literally three other banners did me amazing so pause yeah it was it was great for me so you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you got for the four year anniversary your recap there as well and also don't forget that we are having uh everything probably starting tomorrow for super dragon ball hero world missions and also we do have please do not forget to tune in the 17th for the live stream for the 300 million dollar celebration do not forget that because the more people that's probably attending and stuff like that watching the more dragon stones we are going to get and also you got to remember that there is a maintenance if i'm not mistaken that is scheduled uh the 18th yeah so the 18th sunday which saturday is the live stream sunday maintenance so just yeah go out with that one but the end of the four year anniversary celebration is pretty much done. I think the uh, login is done and all that stuff now. So yeah, we just have to pretty much wait and see for everything else. The $300 million celebration is literally around the corner. And I've seen a lot of people asking me about uh, one huge thing yesterday. Uh, that was, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday or, or Saturday, whichever one. That was asking me a lot of questions about when the, four year, well, the $300 million celebration is going to start. It should be sometime at the end of August or start of September. Again, that's just, we don't know personally right now. I mean, they'll probably announce it the 17th and we'll probably get like a V jump somewhere in between that to 20 something or something like that that'll show the cards leaked out what they're gonna be. I mean, hopefully it's still sale and, and Gohan. But other than that, you guys can let me know in the comment section about how it went for you and how hype you are and how many dragon souls you're saving up for if you're going to buy for the 300 million dollar celebration and i'm out guys i'm an awesome day slash night yeah